Hello everybody, this is Iced Blood. Welcome back to the Mercenaries. We're gonna tackle the fourth and final stage with Leon in today's video, the Water World. Fuck this place. Alright, so a couple good things, a couple bad things. The good thing is that the enemies in this stage, like the military base before it, are relatively weak. Another good thing, there are not, you know, only 30 second increments with the time extensions. There are a couple minute long ones, and I think there might be a 90 second one, but I'm not sure. Bad things. There aren't many of those. There's still quite a few of the 30 second ones of me. Yes, you do have to move around quite a bit. This one is smaller, I think. Than, uh, than the other stages. It might be just as big as the village? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. The main bad thing about this stage, you will meet him soon, is the boss character. Now, you might notice this world has no bearing whatsoever on the real game. This is the one stage out of the four that is not based on any area that we've been in the main game. Befitting this, the boss is not an enemy we've ever seen. He is a raging bitch and I hate him, and you'll find out why. Especially with Leon. Told you, boss characters... Not good times for Leon. Basically, usually with, the, with this guy in particular, and sometimes with JJ, we got lucky with the shotgun with JJ, to be honest with you. The main way that you take out a boss with Leon is to hopefully gather up some grenades from the enemies that you kill. Which I don't think we've done so far in this run, so that's, that's good luck. Not doing too bad, though. This is, this is, this is going alright. Like I said, one of the major good things about this level is that the enemies are pretty weak. See, that guy only took two shots to take down. And that means that, you know what, he does kind of have a distance weapon for the most part because you can take things down from a distance with the handgun. Now, that's not your optimal weapon usually. I would love to have something like a rifle or, you know, anything else. But this'll do. This'll do. Another 30 seconds. Okay. The unfortunate truth is we are not dealing with a Punisher which can actually penetrate those shields. We uh, we do have the Blacktail which while it is my favorite gun, or my favorite handgun at least, I don't know if it's my favorite gun, uh, it does not have that capability so you'll end up uh, wasting a lot of rounds trying to take out a shield with it. So. Hopefully, when you're dealing with the guys with the shields, you have at least a couple shotgun rounds left. Otherwise, well... I don't know, I guess you could try and sneak behind them? Maybe go for their legs? That could work. I think if you get a, a shield guy down on his knees, you can actually kick his shield away. Uh, you can hear it. You can hear it. Can you hear that? Yeah. You can see it now! Yes, there are two. This is Dr. Salvador. The real Dr. Salvador. And as you can tell, he has a double-bladed chainsaw, and he doesn't know how to hold back with it. I almost had him. Oh, look! Both of them have said hello. Our only saving grace is that explosive barrel right there. Oh! Except that. Okay. So there you see the real Dr. Salvador. I said that Dr. Salvador is the name for the guys with chainsaws in the main game. It, yeah, I think it is, but that's the real deal. Alright, he's gigantic. He has two blades on his chainsaw. He swings it around wildly. And he's super resilient, so trying to stun him with a handgun is the height of folly. For the most part, you never want to be in close range with that motherfucker, alright? You want to take a distance with him. Unfortunate truth, we are Leon, we had no grenades, we were unable to do that. Now, we almost had that first one, because we caught him before he'd actually decided to act, okay? He was just standing there kind of waiting. Now, I think what happens is, 
if you kill so many enemies, maybe it's near his area. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works. But after so many kills, he will decide to come out and say hello. We caught him before he did that, so he was just standing there. So he had to rev up his chainsaw, which gave us enough time to get a shot off with the shotgun in his face, which is the only way you're going to be able to kill him with Leon. Shotgun to the face. Not even, you can't hit him in the body, even though, you know, much bigger target. Hit him in the face. And hopefully, you have enough time for at least two shots. Ow. Because the first one might not work. Okay, trust me, I, uh... I'm not showing you all the times I died on this stage, but suffice it to say, I hate Dr. Salvador. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not a new idea. I'm pretty sure all Mercenaries players have a certain lack of fondness for Dr. Salvador. There is basically one character in the Mercenaries who can handle him easily. Well, okay, two. We'll see who the second one is uh, when we beat this level. First one, though, is Krauser. Now, you'll see when we play as Krauser, but the secret weapon that he has is his mutated arm. Alright. And I'll use that plenty. Krauser's mutated arm is the saving grace against boss enemies. It makes it surprisingly easy to deal with them. Because basically what it is, it's a bull rush, like he rushes forward, and anything caught in the way of his rush is killed. It doesn't matter how strong they are, it doesn't matter how many they are, it kills everything in its path. And the idea is that you want to always save those for boss enemies. Except maybe the village, because the, the, um, the Bella sisters, the, the women with chainsaws, aren't too bad. They're, they're, they're okay, I guess. They're the easiest boss enemy, which, you know, fits the fact that they're in the first level. There are other benefits to using Krauser. He's probably my favorite of the five characters, but we'll get into those when we're playing as him. Okay, hand grenade. That'll be good uh, when we run into Dr. Salvador. I say when because this stage is pretty much too small to not have to deal with him. You can avoid the Garadors pretty much uh, in the castle area. You don't necessarily want to because they're worth a lot of points, but you pretty much can. Uh, you, you can outrun them. And you can kind of avoid the JJs in the military base, although it's not particularly easy. Dr. Salvador... You are not going to avoid him. You're just not. Don't... Don't bother... Trying. I think the most unsettling part about Dr. Salvador, aside from the fact that he moves like that, you can kind of see him in the... Bottom there. Uh, on the first floor there. See how he does that? Now. We've got him. That was dangerous, but probably necessary. Okay, we got him stunned. Got him stunned. Got him stunned. 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 Down. Whew! We got a nice boost of points there. And a first aid spray, which is pretty useful. Uh, it's always nice to get one of those. But this is more useful. It's bonus time. Let's see if we can keep this one going. On the one hand, it's best to have a crowd of enemies before you activate bonus time to get the most out of them. On the other, when you're running low on time, you kind of can't bother thinking about that, and sometimes you just want to grab it as soon as you can. Granted, okay, probably not the smartest strategy. Ooh, another first aid spray. But it's how I do things. Now, I am not, you know, a savant when it comes to mercenaries, okay? You want, if you want super high scores, you're gonna find them all over the place on YouTube. I'm not I'm not that guy. All right? I'm showing you how to scrape by by the skin of your teeth to get yourself the um, hand cannon, which hopefully that's you know that it's enough for me and hopefully it's enough for you. I'm just I'm doing this because I've never gotten a hand cannon before and I figured you know what this edition is the best time to try. And since I'm getting into this recording thing, hey, why not, you know, record it and show you guys the process. I mean, granted, not the most invigorating and, and, and riveting 
a bit of gameplay, I suppose, especially since after Leon, we're going to go to another character, or we're going to start all over again at the village. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, we got both. I think there's only two Dr. Salvadors, okay? So I think we're good. Now we just need some more time, and we should be okay, because I think there's another bonus time we can use, and we're getting really close to that stage in the game where one bonus time is enough, pretty much. Okay, there's some time, and they're right there. You saw the little treasure chest right there. It's over to his right now, is the bonus time. But we don't have enough uh, actual time to really make the best use of it, I don't think. So let's get some more. Okay, I know there's a, there's a minute up here we can use. A minute's always nice. Okay, there we go. What's in here? A oh, hand grenade. All right, well, we can use that to good use, hopefully. All right. We can use that to good effect, I suppose, is what I really meant. Damn it, no, I wanted to grab whatever he dropped. I didn't want to climb up the ladder. Okay, okay, okay. Down we go. Pick up the handgun rounds. Thank you. Thank you. And we want to jump down here. Now, I didn't grab it. There's actually another time thing right to Leon's left on that platform. I didn't grab it because I was focused on this one. Uh, well, you know. Oops. Okay, so we've got 14,000 or so left to go. So let's grab this and see what we can do. Alright. There's some enemies down there. Ooh, I know what this would be good for. So uh, let's get them out of the way so I can move. All right, and I think they're clustered enough. Let's use our trusty hand grenade. Ooh, there's a barrel right there. Yes, the barrel got hit too. Sweet. All right, all right. Eight, not bad at all. Because we got forty, we got up to forty-eight thousand just from the kills, and forty-nine from that one. Wait, I wonder... I don't think so. I was gonna say, I wonder if the extra thousand points are, like, uh, upgrading, like, immediately. I don't think so, though. Okay, we're at 50,000 now. 12 in a row. 13. Let's keep this going if we can. 14. There's another one. When you get a high combo, it's kind of like playing connect the dots, just trying to, like, where's an enemy, where's an enemy? There's one, there's one, and it's just... You're just running all over the place. There's one. Oh well, we didn't get it. But, we have 30 seconds left. That means we're going to start healing the helicopter. Right there, you can hear it behind me. And we just have to wait up the clock. Now, you still want to, if you can, you know, keep going for the combo if you want. But if you're just going for the hand cannon, don't go crazy. Okay, you basically want to use your guns to protect yourself, because there's plenty of projectiles, there's the shield guys that'll bum rush you, uh, there's dynamite, there's a bunch of things these guys, even though the bosses are done, you know, those mace guys, those mace, I, I do that all the time, it's a flail, that's a flail, not a mace, keep that in mind, okay, I know it doesn't really matter in the context of this game, but it's, it's a flail, alright, okay, now, we did it, we did it, that wasn't too bad, now what do we get for beating the water world? <laughs> Albert Wesker. He has a magnum. He's the other one that can take uh, Dr. Salvador pretty easily. But we'll see that later. For now, catch you next time. Bye-bye.